Okay, so before I start any testing for our, our videos, what I really need to do is make sure that I isolate this. So I'm really just gonna decommission it, okay? Really important rules to follow. First of all, we check it's on before we start because you could go to someone's house and it might not be working beforehand and you're gonna get the blame for it. So we're looking, this is working. I push the button, I can see that it's working perfectly. First thing I do, really important, first job, isolate the AC side of the system. That's because when I isolate the DC side, I'm isolating it and it's not under load, okay? If I do that first, it's under load, you could end up with arcing, okay? Now I'll turn the battery off, like so. I'm not gonna lock it off. I'm not gonna stick labels all over the place um, because I'm not actually gonna open anything up to work on it. It's only me here, um, and this is a test, a test video really. Um, a training video. So, you know, you guys know that if you're working on anything live, you should lock it off. In this instance, I'm not going to because I don't need to. It's only me and there's no exposed parts. Now it's decommissioned, I can now carry on and do my tests. And just remember the sequence of tests. The first thing I need to do is my open circuit voltage test to make sure that everything is connected together. Second test is do I need to earth the, the system or not? So I do my, my earth test. If you remember, I'm looking for a value of something above 0.02 mega ohms, which means I don't have to earth or bond it. Once I've done that, I do my insulation resistance test just to make sure there's no cables clamped underneath the panels, there's no water got into any of the connectors, there's no cables that have rubbed against the tiles. After that, I'll do my short circuit test. And once I'm satisfied that everything's working properly, I complete the commissioning form, which could be another video another day, who knows, and then recommission it all.